Hello everyone, welcome to Andrea's Closet. Today I'll be doing a love reading for the air signs. Um, I'll be channeling whatever it is, whatever energies it is that um, are coming through. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So a small meditation. Let's just burn some sage to cleanse the energy really quickly. Need to get some new sage. Space cleanses over, cleanse those watching who needs a cleansing, cleanse the cards, my crystals, remove all negative energy, and help me to give the best messages possible. One second, let me open up a window really quickly. So like I said, I'm going to be doing um, a reading for the air signs, which is Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. I'll be channeling your um, love message for the rest of February. Whatever is the most important information that you need to hear is what you'll be getting and what you'll be receiving. If it doesn't resonate right now, it may resonate um, you know, a couple weeks from now or a month, maybe a year, who knows. You see this video when you're meant to see it. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with um, Libra. message for the sign of Libra regarding love. Best of February. What is an important message you have for Libra regarding love for the rest of February? you have for Libra regarding love. That is something important that you need to do. Spirit, God, Spirit, God, Angel Guides, Ancestors. What is an important message you have for Libra regarding love? Spirit, Jesus, Universe. What is an important message in love that Libra needs to hear? So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Emperor in Reverse, and the Page of Cups in Reverse. What else 
the King of Swords. What other important information do you have for Libra? Okay, the Nine of Cups. What other important message do you have for Libra regarding love? What kind of message do you have in love for Libra? Okay. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Emperor in Reverse, the Page of Cups, the King of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Fool. So with this energy, I'm getting a person who is financially abundant, um, who's Who's, um, things are, things are looking good in love. Um, things are moving fast. Things are not even fast. Things are moving at the right pace. Um, the emperor, okay, let me find out why the emperor is in reverse. Because the emperor in reverse is like a very a nurturing, obnoxious, arrogant individual. And then the page of cups in reverse is also um, very immature. So temperance, okay. So temp we have the emperor in reverse because we need to have patience. We need to understand that things does not move on our time and we don't need to rush things. Take your time to understand someone. Oh man, Page of Cups. Okay, so, all right. So someone was hurt. Someone was hurt badly. It was either you were hurt or you did the hurting, Libra. Um, and there is a message regarding that situation because it was a three-party situation. Um, but it possibly could have been more. But because of this, it's either you or someone else has something to say regarding this situation and it's not something positive it's something very immature very arrogant um, no accountability taken right but the other party whoever is receiving the message is going to take that like the king of swords right they're going to receive that information and not stoop down to the page of cups and reverses energy the immature childlike energy because the person that's that wants to give this message is going based off of emotion and i'm actually seeing both sides, the divine feminine and the um, masculine. Um, it it could be the roles could um, to could vary, but because of the fact that you won't allow this little arrogant message to interfere with anything within you, because you've done a lot of work, you, this person, the, the receiver, will remain happy and will continue with their life. <laughs> is not going to face them in any way, shape, or form. They're going to continue to not allow that individual to put any blockages on them regarding any new situation in love. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician, which is amazing because it goes completely, it goes great with um, the full card in this reading. Because now you're, you're manifesting things because you're not allowing your energy to be blocked off by negativity. Is there any other messages? And you're walking away. You're walking away from this situation. Completely moved. You're not bothered by it. It's whatever message, whatever information you'll be receiving is is just that. It's just oh, it's just that. Just another message. But be careful because because of the fact that you are 
not allowing that to interfere with how you're feeling. It will cause people to have the little evil eye, you know? And I have one more card for Libra regarding love. What is any, do you have any more information for Libra regarding love? The Hierophant, right? Okay. So, with these three cards here, the fact that you become like the fool, you're more willing and open to um, take chances, not allow anyone to stop your happiness. You're manifesting things, and this has become part of your routine. This has become part of who you are, and it's it's there's no interfering that. So let's get a message from the power deck. God, that's so sweet. What is an important message that we have for Libra regarding the power of God? What is an important message we have for Libra? Ancestors, God. Spirit, God. Offering. Every day our, of our lives, we take from Mother Earth our energy for life, yet we often forget the ancient tradition of the sacred giveaway take a moment to sit in silence and contact the magnificent things you have in this life even if only the wanderers of being given life reflect on the great mother mother earth ask yourself what have i given back to her lately to heal her then think of the higher higher vision of life and balance on this earth and realize that the greatest gift you can give mother earth and your fellow humans is your own enlightenment in this way you tear you tear away the veils of ignorance and present the magnificence of your being to everyone who experiences you everyone around you is uplifted and inspired this is your offering right so basically it's what i said where because you become so you became so um unbothered you became so centered and feel at peace nothing that anyone can do can interrupt that and you're offering it's weird because it's like you're offering others that same mindset that same lifestyle even when they've hurt you um from the manifest or, or manifest soulmate oracle deck never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings Release your worries and receive universal abundance. The hot, the hottest love has the coldest end. That is a fact. So let's get a divine feminine whose energy will be most beneficial to you. Our ancestors. Which divine feminine will be most beneficial to Libra or cross watcher, whoever is watching, even if they're not Libra. It will be most beneficial to this time to the viewers watching. Fatima, the mother of Imus. I love is my lineage, and gratitude is my religion. So let's see what she. So I'm gonna read um, when your soul selects her card. We can get caught up in the ego's idea of who we need to become or what we need to achieve. Fatima is a grace that sweeps through our seemingly complex lives and reminds us of what's core, what's solid earth to the soul. Family, even if family means a few beloved friends, what matters most is the love and gratitude we bring to those who are there for us and the love and gratitude we feel when they show us show up for us. Nurturing, protecting, and taking care of the ones we love is a sacred occupation. My great-grandmother, Big Marie, advised me that if I ever had children, I needed to make sure I got paid for it. I had no clue what she was talking about. The idea was so foreign. Big Marie 
Big Margie, I don't know where I get Marie from. Big Margie believed that women should have a wage for the time they spent raising children so that their work would at least be valued. The role of a housewife or a stay-at-home mom is sacred if it's consciously chosen. It is a profound con condition to raise and recon reconstitute the world. There is a legacy of love that we can be inherited by the whole family from which an undivided attention and presence. Fatima restores the significance and importance of to, to this spiritual path of motherhood. Fatima is also called to step back, take a deep breath, and take inventory of how much you can be grateful for right now in this moment. She releases you from un, unreal expectations of yourself, whether you have mothered a child, a friend, or family, or, or yourself. Fatima helps you to see again the vital, the vital role the nurturer provides. She offers the perspective that says love is the is the family we all belong to and gratitude is a state of wealth we get to live in so voice meditation what am what am i most grateful for in this moment intention love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion so um when i first took out the hierophant it appeared reversed but then when I took it out, it was upright. So because of that, I'm getting that there's like three different kinds of people here. The person who's delivering an immature message, the person receiving the message, who has built up this wall, I would say, so that way they, can't, they won't ever go back to the old them. And there's another person that built up this wall so that they won't be able to go back to the old them, but is questioning it. Um, and my advice to you is just to stay strong, keep your feet planted. Don't let anything distract you from what you have going ahead, while I'm planning ahead, right? So thank you, Libra. I hope this video resonated. So on to Aquarius. Hey Aquarius, welcome to Andrea's Closet. I'm going to be doing your love reading, like I said in the beginning of the video. Um, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please give me an important message for a February. The rest of February in love. What is an important message for love? In love for Aquarius. What kind of love messages do we have for Aquarius in love? of February. What should Aquarius expect and love the rest of the family and trust in God for spirit? Jesus Spirit in the God, what kind of important messages should Aquarius expect the rest of February in love? Queen of Pentacles again. Okay. in reverse. Nine of Swords and the Judgment card. The Magician in Reverse.
Ten of Wands. Star card in reverse. The sun. Sun is in reverse. The Knight of Cups. The Empress in reverse. card please for Aquarius. Is it important? Okay. That's one more and they gave me two. Okay. Okay, so Aquarius. You're focused on your finances, right? You're focused on your finances, but you are also being pretty arrogant, pretty um, in the head, stuck on the negativity. Your judgment is here. The magician in reverse is just saying like, you're creating a blockage, Aquarius. There's a block, you're creating a blockage. You're up in your head all night. You can't sleep. You're overwhelmed. There's too much going on. The Ten of Wands is a lot to, it's a lot on your shoulders, a lot to carry. Um, the star is in reverse. The star card, like I always say, can't really have like a negative connotation. It's just an important message that you're going to receive. It's beneficial to you in a lot of ways. The sun is in reverse, meaning that you're in darkness right now. There's a lot of negativity around you. Um, you have the Knight of Cups upright, so that means they'll be you'll be getting a very heartfelt message, very humbled, heartfelt message, something that you need to hear. But the Empress is in reverse, which means that you are being too negative. You're creating your own blockages. You have the Ten of Swords here which is telling me that you're exhausted because it's here with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. You're just, you're beat, you're tired. You're tired of putting in so much effort into the situation. You feel like it's draining you, um, but you're going to get this message and it's going to make your, your mindset change. You're gonna feel different. But because of the fact that you're in this energy, you're, it's gonna take a little while for you to see it and accept it. But someone has their eye on you, right? And there's going to be a type, some type of celebration, some type of union. These, these are all where you were at. This is all the past I'm getting. Every, all the negativity is all the past. But you're, you're here now. You're at this place. Um, And you're still, even though you're at the celebration place, even though you're, you know that people are admiring you, you're still feeling like you're not reaping the benefits of your labor. You're not getting the fruits of your labor. In this situation, you feel like you're putting too much in and you're not getting anything back out of it. And it's, it's exhausting. It's, you know, 
It's making you feel like you want to leave it, but you're not quite ready to leave it just as yet. It is giving you Queen of Wands. So things are going to start to change. You're going to start to put things into places. You're going to start moving and taking action onto how you're feeling so that way you don't, you're not still, you're not here anymore. You don't want to be here. You want to be here. The sun, the, the, the sun card up in upright. What other messages do you have for Aquarius the rest of February? What other messages do you have for Aquarius the rest of February regarding love? Nine of nine of cups. Okay, so the happiness that you were feeling is like, and I'm not feeling like this card is completely, you know, reversed. I'm feeling like it's like in the middle. Like you're enjoying your happiness, but then you're going right back to that negative space. But then you're going right back to that positive space. And as soon as it goes like this, it goes right back down. Um, so let's get a message from the manifest, I mean the power deck. Spirit, angel gods, ancestors. What is an important message that you have for... Aquarius, the rest of February, in love. Please give me an important message for Aquarius. What is an important message you have for Aquarius? Wisdom. Mm, it's a good one. If you are addicted to the process of becoming, there are storms on the horizon. If suddenly there is nothing left to become, you are filled with terror. Suddenly you are face to face with your own empty being. Find the sacred space at a sanctuary of pleasant stillness in your heart. To know that you are truly alone is the first step on the long journey of self-discovery, on the path to power. The final step is to learn that you are already linked with the universe, that you are already part of everything, and you are already live in the lodge of the universe. This is wisdom. Right? Have to have wisdom is to know that you don't have control over everything. You can't have control over everything. Things you just have to have faith and allow things to play its course. Surprise the, the hangman didn't pop up here. Probably would have if I would have kept going. So the next card we have is Essence. Life is a good life is a school that we move and graduate through. Learning many things as we cloak ourselves in environmental knowledge. You are on the warrior's path towards enlightenment. And one day you will peel away this accumulated knowledge like layers of an onion. Moving back into the source of your power. When contemplate in a Zen garden, you find that the source of your power is is the essence of great spirit. We come onto this earth, walk as a piece of smash mirror, every one of us reflecting the light of our God. The experience of life is the process of piecing together these scrambled fragments into one great Mandela that reflects back the one source of all beings. At the center of a cyclone, we sit at the at the one point of stillness, the pandemonium of life circulating madly around us. Choose equilibrium, not frenzy. Live life from your center. The essence of you and the essence of the universe, primal moving force, are one. So you have to let go of the need for control. Allow things to run its course because if you are meant to have a heartbreak. You're meant to have a heartbreak. It's a lesson in that. You have to open up your eyes and see the lesson. You want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. Nothing planned. 
allowing the universe to take the run its course. In the end, you tried and you cared and sometimes that is enough. Can't have control over everything. Start reclaiming who you truly are. Allow yourself to step into your power and stop releasing it because of the anxiety, the anger and depression that you may be feeling. energy to be most beneficial to Aquarius. Delka. The prophes prophecies of true power. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. When your soul selects her card, Thalka's story echoes from the ancient world of the modern world. Your life is up to you. Yes, there is the power of prayer, of, of faith, um, power of prayer of faith for all possible spiritual support but there is also divine will within each of us it's will that aligned with the soul's purpose we remember that true power is when we divest divest all outside authority of the power we have been given them power is called back all the control we give to others to dictate our lives our potential life partner our family member our culture or even ego's idea of who we should be Delka reminds us that we do not need to need permission to be who we are you can cut our hair short and baptize yourself we are not bound to anything except the dictated except the dictated of our own soul her mudra is one of awe and wonder. We have all the power right now within us to take our life into our own hands. That's the source of fire itself. The divine will to call back our spiritual authority and claim this life as our soul's own. Soul voice meditation. Where have I given my power away? Intention. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. So thank you, Aquarius, for watching. I hope that resonated. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Andre's Closet. Today I'll be doing a love reading for you guys. Um, thank you for tuning in. If I did not mention in the beginning of the video, I am very sorry, but the timestamps will be down below in the description. Um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is going to be a love reading for the rest of February for Gemini. So if you an important message for Gemini in love regarding love the rest of heaven. An important message you have for Gemini regarding love the rest of February. What is an important message you have for Gemini regarding love the rest of February? What is an important message you have for Gemini regarding love the rest of February? Five of Pentacles and reversed. Three of Wands and reversed. Oh God, Three of Swords.
Nine of Swords, which is someone had their heart broken. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. The Hierophant. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. All right. Um, first, let me say I am very sorry, Gemini, for someone that was hurt by a Gemini. I'm getting that it was Gemini, though. Um... This reading is very sad. So, someone took a lot from you. A lot. When I mean a lot, they took so much and didn't have any remorse. Left you with nothing. Left you wondering what should you do? What's the next step? Left you brokenhearted. Possibly left you for someone else. Right? Have you up, you've been up all night, sad, depressed, feeling anxiety, not knowing what to do, you can't sleep. You've retreated to a negative place. The Hierophant represents, um, you know, it's like kind of like the tower. You're pulling back, um, getting yourself together. This is detrimental for you to do so. But you have to do it in a in a healthy manner. You're not you can't do it. It doesn't seem to me, I'm not getting that you're doing it in a healthy manner. I'm getting that you're doing it because you don't know what else to do. You're embarrassed, you're hurt, you're sad, you're depressed. Um and then we have the four of wands. Something that could have been really happy, something that could have been a un union completely shattered right before your eyes. What other messages do we have for Gemini regarding love? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So new beginnings. New doors are opening up. Can we clarify the Ace of Pentacles, please? Okay. The Two of Cups in reverse. Um, okay. So this was is not necessarily a new beginning right now. This is what you thought it was going to be. You thought it was going to be a new beginning. You thought it was going to be something that helped you to change or, you know, something that was worth worth it. Worth or any sacrifices. The Ace of Cups and it was it was not. It just continued to just take 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 take. Your cup is like it's pouring out. You don't have anything else in your cup. It's empty. You don't have any more love to give. Are there any messages for Gemini? Oh my God. And you're left so unhappy, so sad, so in despair. We yeah, have the Page of Cups. Okay, Page of Cups, the Ten of Cups. So this is good current energy right now. Can you clarify the Page of Cups, please? The King of Cups, okay. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Juggling, ugh. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Page of Cups here, it seems as if you're going to get a new love offer. Um, 
page is usually kind of immature it may not be the way you want it to be but it, it's a love offer that has a lot of potential it's something that can possibly make you happy if you can have a family come from it um but just be careful with people juggling be more open the king of cups is someone who's very mature who's very nurturing who's very um outspoken who's very giving who's is caregiver but just be careful that you're not giving too much you don't want to be juggling so much that you can't you don't have anything left you don't want to be stuck here you don't want to be here or here you don't want to be here at all not anymore no we want to be here we want to strive for this right okay so let's get a message from the power deck God, ancestors, divine, Holy Spirit, what is an important message we have for Gemini regarding of love the rest of February? What is an important message we have for Gemini regarding love the rest of February? What is an important message for Gemini regarding love the rest of February? Give me an important message, a powerful message for Gemini. God, ancestors, divine, spirit guides, angel guides, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Please give me an important message, a very helpful, beneficial message for Gemini to help them do this. Magic. If you do not believe in magic, your life will not be magical. Magic, like the power of Stonehenge, is part of the unknowable, that which you cannot describe but exists and makes your life extraordinary. It is part of the goodness of your spirit. It is that mysterious and intriguing part of your spiritual life. Magic is what we all look for. What we are... Oh, so sorry. Um... Magic is what we are all looking for, but if you try to hold it and name it and describe it, you will lose it. You must talk about talk around magic, describe what led you there, and give thanks for the part of the universe that is unknowable and full of color and strength and magic. Out of out of relationship comes magic. Out of the friction of forgetting and remembering comes magic. Out of the mist of dawn and the mysteries of creation comes the magic that we all that we call life. Out of your passion for existence comes magic. Okay, let's get a... Follow your heart's desire and manifest the heck out of your life. Right, definitely. All right. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Everything you need... Everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. Remember that. According to Greek mythology, humans are were originally created with four arms, four legs, and head with two faces. Fearing their powers, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. <sighs> so, just because one situation was not the best, didn't seem to be what it should have been or what you wanted it to be or expected to be. Doesn't mean that every situation after that is going to continue to be that way. Um, until you see whatever lesson it is that you needed to learn or whatever things you needed to change about yourself, you're going to continue to reflect the people. You're going to continue to date people who reflect your dark side. You 
people. You're going to date the people that reflect the, the happy side that you want to display. You're going to bring in negativity because those things have not changed. You can't have negativity in with positivity because then you're going to taint the, the positive person or the loving individual until you change whatever negative things are about you that you need to change. God, ancestors, divine, please give me a divine feminine whose energy would be most beneficial. Okay, they gave me two. Okay, All right. got a lot of reading to do now. Anna Demia, Demi, Anna, Anana Demia, Anana Demia, something like that. The joy permeated mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. When your soul selects a card, there's a message in autobiography by Yogi um, that relates an encounter he had with. Um, I'm just call her Anna. Anna Ma. He asks her why she is always so filled with joy and she can sense her states of bliss instantly. She explains to him that she's aware of herself, of her true self. She knows that before the before she came to earth, she was the same as a little girl. And later when she grew into a woman, she, she was the same. And now sitting in front of Yoganda, she remain, remains the same. And even after death, she says, though the dance of creation changes around me, I shall be the same. This is a self-realization merging with that aspect within us that never changes. It's becoming conscious of the self that is eternal while within this brief mortal existence. Anna Ma believed that the only true calling of or purpose any of us have is to become realized. And so she believed that any action we take towards that goal is sacred. <laughs> There's a deep, calm, abiding joy that arrives when we can merge with the aspects of us that never changes. There is a bliss we get to experience every time we detach from the surface storms that cause chaos in our lives. If we can remember that we are the guru, that we are an aspect of the divine that, reminds, that remains the same no matter how much change around us, then we get to arrive at a joy that lives at the core of our being. Soul voice meditation. What does joy feel like in my body? Like I said before reading this, um, you have to identify, you have to do some soul searching also, Gemini, and identify the toxic traits in you, understand where those toxic traits came from, and work on those toxic traits. Don't get stuck in that negativity. So Sarah Lakali, queen of the outsiders, I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. When your soul selects her card, no matter who you are, um, or where you are, St. Sarah's love is the kind that reaches you. There's nothing you need to perfect or prove. There's nothing you need to wait to become. There's only the deep abiding truth that love is not outside of you. You are never an outsider to love. You are love. St. Sarah is the ultimate love card. The one that whispers what you've always known. That love is our, is our true purpose and our only true home. Love is where we will all arrive. No matter how persecuted, how lonely, how outcast we might feel. No matter how long it has been since we felt love. Saint Sarah is the healing that comes when somebody somebody love again. She is here to welcome us back to the singular destination we actually never left. Home is only ever as far as we allow ourselves to be separate for the space of our own heart. Enter soul voice meditation. Enter the heart. Ask to experience love, true love, and let it fill you, fill you head to soul. Intention. I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. So, like I said, 
because this one situation was so sour and so negative, that does not necessarily mean that every situation after that will be the same. Everyone is different, but you do have to do some soul searching, understand what you do, what parts you contribute into finding these individuals, not to in not in getting hurt, but the people that you're allowing into your life. Because the ones that we allow into our lives are a reflection of our darkness, of the part that we hide, the part that we don't want to identify with. So I hope that resonated. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think.